Well, hello everyone, I'm back, the new proud American conservative with more important info not too many of you can stomach. Socialism in United States is, is getting so obvious, but a lot of people continue to ignore it. Uh, President Trump is banning TikTok as we speak. Um, TikTok is Chinese product, but how is Twitter still out there? Yes, Jack is American guy, uh, Twitter is American company, blah, blah, blah. They have their headquarters in China. They are openly calling um, to censor American citizens working with China. You got president tweeting about it. You got these Congress shit shows when they are attacking uh, the left and the right is attacking Zuckerberg and, um, and Jack and, and the guy from Google, I forget his name, that other freak. Uh, but nothing gets done about it. But all of a sudden, TikTok now is 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 a national um, enemy number one. And who is buying TikTok now? Who is in in talks of buying it? Microsoft slash Bill Gates. Now he's going to get even richer, and have even more info from all of us. And surprisingly and interestingly enough, TikTok. All these people, as I watched on TikTok, I actually enjoyed it sometimes. There is a lot of good content on TikTok. There is a lot of uh, average Joes out there who do their own research and make short clips about, you know, stating their opinion, what is going on with Bill Gates, mandatory vaccines, and all this craziness. It's almost like they want to, you know, shut us down. And who is, um, you know, leading the show again? You got it, President Trump. There is something really wrong here, even though uh, anything comes out of China, I am completely okay with that. But this is really robbing me wrong, and it's not just me. I read a lot of comments on social media that people are like really questioning, and it's not just um, these deranged liberals that are like, oh, well, Trump is banning it, and now it's not good. No, it's a lot of uh, conservatives I read, they are like, why are you banning TikTok? I mean, my wife got so many good recipes off of it. Yes, believe it or not. And she's a Southern girl and she can cook and she loves to cook. We enjoyed the hell out of some of these recipes that she picked up from these short, fun clips on TikTok. It's not all uh, 15 or 18 year olds dancing around in bikinis. If you set your algorithms for that, I'm sure you're gonna get plenty of that. But if you set your algorithms for cooking or pedophilia ring, you're gonna hear a lot of people talk about what is going on in the world. So I just had to um, mention this because a lot of conservatives are gonna to continue to dig their heads deeper in the sand and just ignore it. And I'm not saying, okay, well, this is the reason now you're gonna vote for Biden. I can care less. I will vote for Trump again. I will not vote for this. Um, freak who is going to start openly killing babies on national TV, they're going to normalize that. I mean, the whole thing with um, abortions, what, what has been going on is just getting out of hand. And I believe President Trump can at least put some brakes on that. So that is one of the only reasons I will vote Trump again. It sure is not because of his um, anti-socialism and his uh, monetary policies that I'm going to go over in one minute right now just unbelievable like if you're gonna start banning TikTok, what is what is gonna stop president trump to ban let's say cryptocurrencies tomorrow bitcoin yes all of you conservatives out there who bought bitcoin at 500 dollars a bitcoin what are you going to do or a hundred dollars or ten dollars a bitcoin what are you going to do look what putin did today there is no more trading of Bitcoin or transacting in Russia with cryptocurrencies. I will post the link down below. This is from Coinbase. So you might want to do your own research a little bit on this too, because what is, uh, what is to stop all of this to, to take place now? How is Twitter still operating and TikTok is not? Just saying, you know, it goes the same way as they are picking winners and losers when it comes to bailouts. Corporations get a bailouts while small businesses get a handout. I mean, these are facts. You guys can, you know, uh, write down below what your thoughts are on this. But uh, to me, this is very disturbing. 
even though, let me repeat again, anything that comes out of communist China, I think is beyond alarming. Don't get me wrong. I lived in socialism slash communism. I know what, it, what, what it's like to live in the basement for four years. I did my videos on personal stories. You can find it on my channel if anyone is interested, interested in that. I did a part one, two, and three just to kind of give you guys a little bit of heads up as I lived in it. I lived through hyperinflation and this is what, um, this is all tied up now, like I said, President Trump's monetary policies. Using COVID as a scapegoat, doing exactly opposite. He did complete 180, what he campaigned on. He said uh, Obama had all these policies set in place, working hand in hand with Federal Reserve, artificially lowering interest rates. Otherwise, economy would have um, flipped, flipped on them so quickly if it wasn't for the Fed Reserve. And he's been doing the same before COVID. Our deficit spending has been uh, off the charts. So enough of ranting. Uh, this one, I on this channel, I always have solutions, okay? I touched up on yesterday a little bit what I do with the stock market, how I started with just trying to find a way how to pay for my cell phone, cell phone bill, about $120, can I make that? Then I started to amping up my game and I was able to, to, to make a lot more than that just pretty quickly. And I believe a lot of you guys should uh, should do something. If it's not the stock market, you might start investing in um, hard tangible assets. Maybe not just gold and silver and platinum. Maybe some Cuban cigars, like someone commented. Byzantine man, I believe his name is. He's been commenting um, a little bit on my YouTube channel. He said, Cuban cigars. That's an asset when things go down. There's gonna be people that are gonna pay hefty price for those. Wine. You can buy cheap two, three dollars uh, bottle of wine, have it stored, because obviously uh, the shelf life for wine can be years and years. Anything, okay? I believe that if you have bad debt, meaning uh, expensive cars that you cannot afford, it is now time to unload on some stuff and, and try to claw your way out of the middle class. What I mentioned on yesterday's video, my method of in and out procedure of the stock market is just teaching you how to make money in the market, how to profit from it, and using that money to acquire hard tangible assets. That's just one example. I would suggest everyone, this is not me telling you what to do, this is just a suggestion and I'm telling you what I'm doing. I have titles for my cars in my possession uh, no payments, uh, looking for no big mortgages, no big rents, unless it's an asset, meaning the money coming in. For instance, having land, productive land where you can uh, grow crops, you can you have livestock, something that is putting a f you know few bucks in your pocket versus um, just owning a home. Right now, people are going to say, "Well, I bought a uh, hundred fifty thousand dollar home. Now it's worth three fifty. Well, did you sell? Okay." And if you wait too long, that house could be worth 500 grand, but for that 500 grand, you may not be able to buy anything. As hyperinflation is now more probable than maybe. Not because of I pulled it out of my hat, it's because of facts. One trillion dollars per month is what Fed Reserve is printing. So think about it. Uh, I, I suggest that everybody needs to start really thinking for themselves, understand what is going on, and this is what my channel is all about. If you find this uh, inf informative, if you find it important, please share these videos, spread the word. It is not easy for me to do this when I, uh, I am a conservative that calls out conservatives if they do something wrong, like President Trump. So what happens, the right immediately starts calling me names and they just run for the hills. Liberals, they see conservative, just the name conservative, they are gone. They're gonna start calling me names. You start talking about gold, people start laughing. I mean, this is not easy for me to spread unless I have help from you guys. If you think, like I said, this is important, this is informative, please do so. So again, I believe bad debt right now is the killer. Try to unload some stuff. If you gotta sell certain things, acquire some cash, 
Um, make sure you diversify. You're not only in the dollar because uh, the dollar right now is getting smashed, meaning your purchasing power. I'm not saying it's not going to reverse at some point. It could happen, but the collapse of the dollar is inevitable. It's what Jerome Powell, the Fed chair of the Fed Reserve, said it uh, plenty of times that they are not planning on stopping printing money um, anytime soon. It's to infinity until everything blows up. So prepare, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, ammo is, is an asset, no doubt. Gold, silver, Cuban cigars, wine, anything that you can hold in your hand that makes sense instead of having digits digits on the screen including unfortunately i'm a big supporter of cryptocurrencies i believe that the government here in the united states is going to have big fines possibly jail time for those who transact in cryptocurrencies that are not backed by government and um, they will basically ban it so just like they did in Russia. I will post all the links down below. Take care everyone and um, God bless.